Woodbird carving, freshwater shell carving, and turquoise carving are known as the three superb pieces among many other arts and crafts works in Hubei Province, central China. Each features its unique artistic appeal. Hubei's strategic place in terms of traffic has a lot of lakes and waterways with a fabulous variety of wooden boats sailing all over. This provides unusual condition for the creation and development of the art of wood boat carving. The boat carvings are made of hard and fine cypress, boxwood, or mahogany. These foot-long boats are strictly carved in proportion to the real ones, and each part fits perfectly in varied types of turners. All this requires a very high level of skills. The sculptors pay attention not only to the outlines of the bodies of the boats, but also to the classic and the decorative effect with the texture of the materials. The carved boats may be classified into three categories, river-going, sea-going, and classical. Various boats sailing on the Yangtze of the Sichuan, Hunan, Jiangsu, and the Zhejiang Orange, ancient war boats, dragon boats, and etc. are copied to perfection, and the only difference lies in the small size. However, the stereotyped freshwater shell carvings are recently products in this trade. Hubei province has an abundant supply of freshwater shells from its thousand lakes. Unlike the alluring seashells with bright luster and fantastic shapes, the freshwater shells are transparent, smooth and shiny. They are ideal materials for the artists to express their imaginations with. The shell carving The Yellow Crane's Returning is a masterpiece. It has brought various craft forms into one. Apart from the main figures of the cranes, they include different building forms of the long corridor, the pavilions, and various art forms of the complex, sea carving, miniature carving, and seasonal flowers, lighting, and traditional lanterns. Turquoise is a special product in Hubei province. It is precious for its charming color, tender luster, and fine quality. It enjoys fame in the history of arts and crafts. The sword of a king of more than 2,000 years ago was decorated with it. The modern turquoise carvings are well known for their figurines. The craft masters bring the characteristics in ancient stories and the fairy tales to life through various processes of rough and fine sculpting, boiling in wax and polishing. These figures enrich our life by serving as a sterile presentation of the stories they represent, thanks to the perfect skills of the arts and craft masters from Hubei province.